M0FXV, welcome back to the channel. As you know, the Anytone 878, okay, in my opinion, probably the best DMR radio ever made, okay, handheld. They've got the 578, which is dual receive, the mobile set, I think it's 50 watts. And why? Because you can get the code plug for this pretty much from all your friends. It's a very re reliable set, nice. Nice chunky set in the hand. It just works well. And if you get yourself a hotspot, I've got a few hotspots here. I made, actually made one today. Um, and um, made a video making this and installing it. Well, we've got some good news for you. Anytone have finally made the, uh, the 890 UV, which I had on my channel over two years ago and some other models. Um, but now that they're actually releasing this next week, so just in time for Christmas. Now, I don't think you'll be able to buy it before Christmas, but it's due to go on sale, I would say, um, in, in, in several weeks, which is exciting news. I'll tell you why, because this radio, the case looks virtually identical, bit of a bluer colour that I'm seeing, uh, thanks to Ham Radio Crash Course's video. Um, um, but... The case is that it's a nice solid radio. It's a larger battery. I believe it's 3,100 milliamp hours. Now, please don't take my word for this. Check with any tone. I am just making videos about information that I'm receiving. Entertainment purposes only. Don't rely on what I'm saying. But this radio is going to be dual receive. So you're going to hear at the same time on the main and the sub or the A and the B band. That's the first handheld radio that's done that for a long time. Now, I do have another handheld that does it, um, but I'm not going to mention the model because I don't think that's fair to do that. But but I think that's fantastic news. Also, Airband. Airband receive. Great news. 500,000 contacts, which is plenty anyway, but also NXDN. Now, watching Ham Radio Crash Course's video, um, his information is that it won't be selling at first with NXDN. It will be a firmware update, but um, you know, do we use NXDN that much? Maybe not, but but maybe in the USA you do. But in the UK, although we can use it, I've got several receivers that will receive NXDN. I can tell my hotspot. I've got a, an open spot here for, and this will change DMR to NXDN, so I can actually do NXDN tests. Of course, you know, if you're going to have a DMR radio, you have to get a hotspot. And Bridge, Bridgecom have got an advert at the moment on their thing saying about revealing some information next week. And it's so obvious that it's the 890 UV. So I would say it's going to have Bluetooth GPS. I'd be very surprised if it doesn't. I've got some information here, but the thing is, it's a few years old. Uh, it says it's a tri-band. Does that mean 20, you know, 220 megs? <clears throat> um, so I'm going to wait because uh, I don't want to guess too much. But you can see the radio. This is a very, I've seen the, the real radio. Check out those videos that have been made. You've got the red buttons there. They've made sure that the radio does look a bit different. And on the front of the radio, I am seeing the GPS. I'm not actually seeing a Bluetooth emblem or logo there let me double check now i'm not seeing anything obvious but i i would say 100 percent is no i'm not going to say that i'd be surprised if if it's not bluetooth because the 878 is bluetooth so why would they then bring out a newer model that hasn't got bluetooth um but we'll see so uh, thanks for watching my channel i think it's good news because i really like dual receive i like on the a band i'm listening to my hotspot and on the B band, I'm listening to my to my local repeater or my all star node in analog. Um, for me, that's a big deal. Um, and, you, you know, radios like the Yaesu FT5D, the Icom ID 52, you can do that and several other radios. So uh, well done to any tone. Thanks to um, those that have made videos, this brochure as well. Thanks to Simon the Wizard as well and um, i had this brochure with, with actually believe it or not with several other radios that any tone were planning on releasing and then it just went quiet yeah another one that i really like is the is the aerotone 
or should I say any tone, which to me is like the smaller version of the 878. And any tone do this, it's the D168. Lovely colour screen. Sounds great. So, um, thanks for watching my channel. And I'm, I'm really into DMR anyway. I love DMR. I think it's, uh, you know, the, the price they're saying is going to be about 200 and about 299 sorry about the audio went funny about 299 pounds um uh, so yeah can't wait to, to get this radio bye for now